talk to us about what the Brain Trust is. This is something you started at Pixar and that now exists at Disney Animation as well. Can you explain it? Yes, and the, the truth is we, we came upon it accidentally because uh -huh. our first five people were pretty phenomenal. And so we, we took the principle of how these guys work together and we applied it to other groups and it didn't work. So then we had to go back and figure out, okay, what is it about this group that was working that didn't work with other groups? Mm -hmm. And from that, we came up with some principles which we do apply, and this is what we took down to Disney. Um, when, now, when we talk about the brain trust, it's not a group of people that exists all the time. Mm -hmm. It's what we call the group that come together to solve a problem, usually for meetings after we viewed what a film is, or a two-day offsite. And it operates under four principles. Uh, one of them is that um, the, um, nobody can override the director, mm -hmm. all right? So uh, basically we uh, remove the power structure from the room. So John's notes uh, are my notes, we can't override the director. Mm -hmm. Now, it's easier said than done because people will sometimes defer to what they perceive the power structure to be, but it's a conscious effort to, to not have that. The second is it's peer-to-peer. -peer. So that it's filmmaker talking to filmmaker. It's not uh, uh, boss talking to filmmaker, or boss talking to employee. Mm -hmm. um, the third but one... you can't override the director. Well, it's because the director is, it's, it's their project, it's his or her project. Uh -huh. All right, they're the ones are responsible. The reason we have to remove the power structure is if they know the group can override them, mm -hmm. then they will enter the room in a defensive posture. Hmm. And that will make it so they don't listen. By allowing them to say, no, the choice is really yours, they then can come in, because they're highly exposed, mm -hmm. and then they can listen. And they will treat the comments as comments to help them. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, third principle is that um, they all share in each other's success. They have a vested interest in each other's uh -huh. success. And the last one is just that they give and take honest notes. And so those are principles. Now, we don't always live up to them, because mm -hmm. right, it's hard Which to do Which is the that. hardest one? Uh, I would probably say the power structure one. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there are consequences of that. What it does is you kind of pull back from the honest notes. Mm -hmm. Now, we usually do live up to them. That's why the films are pretty good. Every once in a while, they're just flaming disasters. Uh -huh. We have to reconvene with a smaller group because those things get in the way. They're mm -hmm. subconscious things. People can't help themselves. Every once in a while, magic happens. And with, by, by magic, what, that, what I mean is there's the loss of the ego in the room. And what you see are ideas going out. It doesn't matter whether they're bad or good. Uh, nobody's clinging to them. They're just focused on the problem. And almost every film has one of those times, usually two-day offsite, when the magic takes place. And you can't, because we don't record them, right? all you can do is say, oh, it's, it's, it's an amazing event when it happens. Uh -huh. Can you give an example of, of a, a particular movie um, where the brain trust really kind of forced a director to completely change their mind or influence them to change their mind on something pretty major? Yeah, well, again, as you pull back, it's, it's not force, but the right. influence is there. This is when the magic happens. So Frozen is an example of that. Mm -hmm. So Frozen actually is a project that's been around Disney for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And then somebody came in with a, an idea with it, and it wasn't quite gelling. So, the issue is you had this queen, was she a bad queen? Initially, she had an army of bad snowmen. Oh, Olaf is much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so there were all sorts of problems. And so how bad was this queen? And, you know, and, and it, was, it was a sister story, but it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So we had an offsite when all of a sudden everything clicked. And there, were, there was just this realization about what it was really about and the whole thing turned on itself when you walked out saying, okay, now we've got a movie, now we can see it. And until that point, we didn't have it. Hmm. And if you don't have those points, that's when you sometimes have a restart because you, you never know if you're gonna find that point.
in which case you say, okay, I give up, I have to restart. <laughs>